Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. As you might be able to see behind me on the trailer, got another fabrication job here. I'm gonna build a much larger gantry crane than I did last time. So this is gonna be a little harder because the pieces are getting up to the point where they're heavy enough they're hard for me to handle. But uh, got my trailer back in here. I'm gonna take the bridge crane and try and get these swung off and get them cut down into the segment length that I need to start getting this thing framed up and welded together and get it going. So I'll let you watch while I'm unloading. Alright, got my length measured out here to the max legal width that can go down the highway. This will be for the feet. I want to get the most stability out of this thing as I can because it's going to be really tall. That way it can lift uh, cabs and things up and get engines off combines and stuff. It's already you know, 14, 15 feet tall. So you got to be able to get way up there. This is essentially going to work like a bridge crane in the building that's going in. So. I'm gonna fire the Johnson up here and let it do its thing. Well, they all have it all cut. It's drilling and welding time now. Those gorgeous made in USA casters. So, big expense on this one, but we're going with a better caster than what was on those others because this is a lot heavier and bigger unit. So, well, it's made in USA RWM, three inch wide, eight inch casters. Should roll nice. Uh -huh. And my holes marked out there. And I'm just going to use the mag drill to punch these because I'm going to use the mag drill to do that crane beam, drill it. I'm not going to wrestle it into the Carlton to drill the ends of the flanges on. I'm just going to flip it up and drill it right there. So I'll save a bunch of handling. So I'm going to get the mag drill hooked up and punch these holes. <laughs> All right, got them all drilled out. So now all I gotta do is put them on my welding bench over there and weld them on. Then I'll be ready to start fabbing up the bottoms of those uprights. I need to get that uh, beam flipped over so I can drill it while I got the mag drill here. So I'll probably do that next. All right, so most of the prep work is over. And my holes pre-drilled to weld these on. So everything from here on out is all a weld job. All of the cutting is finished. And uh, I've got all the holes drilled, so this piece doesn't line up just exactly right, so I'm going to put these pennies under it. Feels pretty good. So I'll get the welder and burn on in there. I've already, already done my weld prep and cleaned all the hot roll and slag off. So should get a nice clean weld.
All right, so got my feet all welded up. Now it's time to start putting the supports together. So I've got my pre-drilled bracket positioned to where it's centered and it's raised up to correct them out. So get the welder over here and weld that out. And then uh, I got those pieces there that'll be diagonal braces to put on this because of how tall it is. So that uh, be a little extra strong. And a lot of people miss those on the last units even though they didn't need them. But uh, we're gonna put them on this one. Okay, so got my upper brace welded on there. Now what I wanna do is take and miter cut the corners of my diagonal so I can get it up here and get it welded in. And that'll have the top end of this column done. And then it'll be time to go set up the bottom. So I got the foot laying there on it. I'll get it laid down on the floor and measure this thing off and get it square and try and get that welded on too. So I'll get my cutoff wheel and cut them off and get back to it. I'm just going to take my carpenter square to mark this out, so. Make sure I turn it the right way. Pretty close. Yep, edge of that. That's the lip is about perfect. I get the cut off wheel and cut along that line, I should be just about right. Alright, so I have gotten the beam laid out square and centered. So I'm ready to weld this up. Even got it turned the right direction. So that's a big bonus. Got that piece of plywood under it to space it off, so I got the same amount of gap on both sides to center it up. Because that end down there is held up a little bit because of the spacing on the top so that you can get to the bolts on the end. So, I've gotten them all welded out. Looking pretty good. So, get the welder fired up and see if I get this base tacked on. Nip these ends off with a cutoff wheel. Get my angle. Alright, got my miter cut, got it sitting there, so get attacked.
I went to put the other side on, checking square, and I'm about a quarter inch out. Really an eighth, because one of the one side goes down, the others don't come up. But got a strap on here, going to the top. So let's give it a couple clicks and see if we can't get that pulled back straight. Well, looks like two clicks of the ratchet's all it took. Nice and square now. So, I'm gonna finish tacking this thing out. Well, I've got it all spotted and ready to road test for this thing. Well, I have the rest of it, so. Well, that's the last turn right there, so I'll get that these uh, sides welded out, and this one will be done. Now I'll have to back the trailer in here and load this up and go ahead and take it outside so I got room to build the other one. Well, it's all welded out. So one giant gantry crane. Looks pretty good. So, what I'm gonna do now is uh, get this picked up, back the truck in here, and get this thing moved out of the way so I can build the other one, have this floor space. All right, so, got this one piece loaded. And you can see it's a little wider than the trailer. My trailer's a 96 inch, it's an old eight foot trailer. 
not the 102 that's the legal limit most places now so but uh, I'll get this one out of the way let's see where the feet bolt on there on the bottom uh, I can build the other one in here so get this pulled out and get back to it there's the Bailey come to give it the wag of approval so I got the crane all finished welded out and loaded on the trailer I can't put it together in here and test it because it's too tall and won't fit in my shop I've only got 19.6 ceilings and this thing's uh, 20 foot to the bottom of the hook so it's like 22 foot overall tall so but looks like Bailey approves He's headed back to the couch. I hope you enjoy getting to see this little project of welding out these crane. Well, it's this crane, making another one. That's a four ton capacity unit. So get this thing delivered and move on to another project. There it is at home in this new building. Nice USA casters on there. And it's marked. Both legs. Painted and stamped. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.